What is up, Sean here, and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to make a very popular sound often used by an artist called Liney. Uh, it sounds a little bit like this. I will start drawing in our notes. I'll do one at E0, I'll do one at E flat, and just kind of get creative here. Starting from the initial patch, all we'll do is go into default here on the wavetable selector, analog, and then we'll click basic shapes. And what this will allow us to do is switch between a couple of different basic shapes. We're gonna pick a sine wave, which is the very first one that pops up. What we'll do next is we'll turn on oscillator B and we will do the exact same thing. Next thing that we'll do is we'll turn down the level of oscillator B because we're going to be using it for FM, frequency modulation. And then we will go and click this drop down, select FM from B, and then we will start turning up the harmonics. And for a lot of these, you'll find the sweet spot is around 30 to 40%. Uh, we'll actually change the timbre of this sound by changing the basic shape we are using in oscillator B. So just by changing this wavetable position, which in turn changes the wave shape of oscillator B, we will get a different timbre from Serum. And then when we start playing with the octave, we'll start getting even newer and different timbres. The only other thing we really need to do to take this sound to the finish line is we'll go over here and enable our filter. We can just keep this on MG low 12. We'll jack up this resonance a little bit. We'll take this LFO one and assign it to the cutoff here. And holding shift and option will change it from unipolar to bipolar. And that's really what we want here. So as you can tell, it's really starting to shape up. The only thing that's missing is the envelope that this filter is following. And if you're not familiar with envelopes, it's really just a predetermined path that a sound will take from beginning to middle to end. These are also envelopes as well, but LFOs can also serve as envelopes for any parameter in Serum. We are going to use this LFO1 as the filter envelope and play with it until it sounds the way we want it to sound. The first thing we'll want to do is make sure that this LFO mode into the envelope position, because that's the only way that LFO one is going to know to act like an envelope. The only final thing I'm going to do is mess with the cutoff until it really sounds dead on. And there we go. If you got value from this, if you learned something, please follow the account so that you can keep up to date with future tutorials. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon.